Lisa. Hi, Dad. How you doing? I'm good. Good. What do you got there? I don't know. I was just sitting here when I got here. Is it yours? No. Must be Rudy's. Hmm. Is there anybody's name written on it? I don't know. I didn't really look. Huh. I don't see anything written on it. Feels pretty light, too. Almost like there's nothing in it. Yeah, but it's all taped up. Yeah, it's sealed up pretty good. Now, what's an empty box doing sitting on our table? <laughs> I have no idea. Hmm. Oh, I don't think there's anything in here. At least there's nothing moving. <laughs> Seems like maybe there's some packaging in there, though. Otherwise, the box would feel lighter. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> Must be Rudy's. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, girl. Hey, Kelly. How are you? Fine. How are y'all doing? Doing good. Fine. What's in the box? I don't know. It was sitting there when we came in. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Hmm, it's not ours either. Yeah, it's gotta be Rudy's. Yeah. Where's Rudy? I don't know. He wasn't here when we came in. Probably up front. So, are there any names on it? No, it's just a plain brown box with no markings on it. Not even a company name. Hmm. Oh, I know what this must be. This is a practical joke from Gates. You know, come to think of it, he was still here last night after I left. What about you, Kelly? No, I mean, I left before you did, so Gates was still here when I left. Yeah, me too. Yep. This case is becoming clearer by the moment. This box belongs to Gates. He's always up to something. Or it could be Rudy's, like you said. You're right. It could be. I'm betting that it's Gates. Hmm. Speaking of which... Hey, guys. Hi, gang. Hey, thanks for the little present you left us this morning, Gates. Uh, what present? Oh, you know. Know what? You know. I don't know. What is it? What does it look like? It looks like a box. Very good, Travis. You get a gold star. <laughs> what was in it? We don't know. We thought it might be yours. It ain't mine. Is it yours, Travis? No, sir. Sure is light. Doesn't feel like anything is in it. Is anybody's name on it? Nope. Where'd it come from? Well, it was just sitting there when I came in this morning. Where? Right there in the middle of the table. Well, is Rudy here? Maybe it's his. He should be here somewhere, because the lights were on when we got here, but I haven't seen him yet. He's probably up front. Hey, Rudy! Gates, are you telling the truth? This box does not belong to you? Uh, no, this box does not belong to me. This isn't some practical joke or some crazy scheme you've cooked up? Now, Lisa, would I do something like that? Yes. <laughs> well, the answer is no on both counts. Both counts meaning? Both counts meaning, no, it is not a practical joke for me. No, it is not some crazy scheme for me. Maybe somebody else, but not me. And Travis, it's not yours. No, ma'am. Well, let's just open it up and see what's in it. No, but wait. What if it's Rudy's? Yeah, could be his. Yeah, you're right. We better not open it. I heard my name called. Hey, Rudy, is that your box? I thought it belonged to you guys. It's not yours, Rudy? No, it was here when I got in this morning. Gates. Don't look at me. I've already told you it's not mine. I didn't put it there. Well, it didn't have anybody's name on it. Well, let's just open it up. Oh, well, it could be somebody else's. Who? We are the only ones here. Uh, maybe it belongs to Joanna. She's here every day. Oh, well, I was just up in the office. She's up there now. Oh, Gates. Let's go investigate. <laughs> you get it? He said, Gates, let's go investigate. Good morning, Joanna. Hello, Joanna. Good morning, guys. Joanna, we have a mystery to solve, and you are our number one suspect. I am? What'd I do? Nothing yet. Now, let's review the facts of the case. Rudy came in this morning and found a box sitting on the table center stage. There were no markings and no name on it. And then Lisa came in, followed by Chad and Kelly, or Kelly and Chad. I'm not sure which order it was, because we were not here when they arrived. Then, Travis and I came in. Correct. Now, none of us know who the box belongs to, or why it was on the table, or who put it there. But when Rudy came down from the office this morning, we quickly interrogated him, and he said he knew nothing about the box. Which leaves only one person in this theater who would know anything about the box. I see. So, Joanna, tell us about the box. 
I'd be glad to tell you about the box. I have no idea about any box. You didn't put the box on the table? Like I said, I've got no idea about any box. I just got here a few minutes ago, came in the front door like I always do. I haven't seen any box, don't know anything about a box. Not sure I want to know anything about a box. You sure? Yes, Gates, I'm sure. Okay, Joanna, we believe you. You can take it easy now. Phew, you had me so worried for a few minutes. Yeah, little lady, we're sorry we had to be so rough on you. But we're determined to get to the bottom of this. Carry on. You too, detectives. Well, Joanna is no longer a suspect. A suspect? Yeah, she doesn't know anything about the box. Oh, well, good work, detectives. <laughs> How that box got there is a mystery. Well, it's gonna have to remain a mystery because right now we need to get to work. Okay, everybody, let's see what we got so I can start planning the order of things. Oh, wait a minute, Rudy. Now, you're just gonna go back to work while this box is sitting here that nobody in this theater knows anything about? I mean, somebody put it there. Well, Gates, I still think you put it there. Lisa, I did not. Well, you can tell me you didn't as much as you want, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna believe you. Lisa, I don't lie. Well, I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying you're up to something. No, Lisa, I am not up to something, but I do have a suspicion about who put the box there. Who? You. Me? Yes, you. You're the one making the most fuss about it. Me? I'm not the one who marched up to Joanna and asked her about the box. We were just doing a little detective work. Gates, I can assure you I did not put that box there. Chad is being pretty quiet about the whole thing. Maybe he put it there. I didn't put that box there. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And why should I believe you? Because I, like Gates, do not lie. Mm-hmm. Okay, look, we don't need to sit here accusing each other over this silly box. Let's just open it and be done with it. But Rudy, we don't know whose it is. Lisa, there's nobody's name on it. This is ridiculous. We're treating the box like it's something special. Let's just open it. I have an idea. Let's take a vote. A vote? Yeah, we'll vote to see who gets to open the box. Good idea. Well, I'm not going to vote. Lisa, you don't have to vote. Wait a minute. Maybe we should vote to see whether we should open the box before we vote to see who's going to open the box. All right, let's vote. All right, let's take the ridiculous vote and be done with it. All in favor of opening the box now, raise your hand. All opposed? All right, that's five to one. Who wants to do the honors? I'm serious. We shouldn't open something that we don't know as it is. Lisa, it's just an empty box. Wait a minute, Rudy. How do you know the box is empty? Well... Uh, it just felt really light this morning. Hold on a second. Maybe you put the box here. I mean, after all, you were the first one here this morning. Gates, I did not put the box there. Look, I say we wait until the end of the day, and if nobody's claimed it, then we can open it. Let's open it now. I'm with Kelly. And I'm with Kelly and Travis. I think we should wait like Lisa is suggesting. Mm, me too. Oh, now nah, that's three against three. And Ty goes to the runner, which in this case is Lisa. <laughs> Wait a minute, what do you mean Ty goes to the runner? Well, Lisa, you run every day, right? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. I work out and run a couple of miles every day after work. I rest my case. <laughs> but wait a minute, Rudy. Ty goes to the runner is in baseball, not running. That too. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's wait till the end of the day and we'll open the box then. Right now, can we get to work? Hey, Joanna, did you get any deliveries from me this morning yet? No, I didn't know you were expecting anything. Yeah, but nothing yet, huh? No, I haven't seen anything. They're usually here by now. Are you sure it's coming today? I checked online. I said it was out for delivery. What are you waiting for? Well, I ordered some lights. We need more light on the stage and the sides, and Mr. Wheeler gave me the go-ahead to get them. I just was hoping they'd be here for this week. Well, maybe they're running late today. Maybe. I'll let you know if anything comes. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Gates. Hey, Trev. Look, who do you think put that box out there on the table? I don't know. You know who I think did it? Who? Rudy. I bet he's up to something. Why would Rudy put a box on the table? I have no idea. Which is a good reason to believe he didn't. Which is also a good reason to believe that he did. Nobody would suspect Rudy. You know why? Why? Because Rudy wouldn't do anything like that. That's why. Well, then who do you think did it? Chad. Chad? Why him? 
Well, because he's a new cast member and he likes joking around. Underneath that nice guy is a guy who wants to pull one over on us. See, I don't think Chad did it. He's still trying to get used to the way we do things around here. Well, then I don't know. And that just leaves the girls. And Joanna. Yeah, Joanna's a girl, which is why I said girls, plural. You know, because it includes Joanna. When you refer to the girls, I usually think of Kelly and Lisa. Yeah, whatever. Well, I know how we can find out what's in the box. Yeah? I can open it, reseal it, and nobody will know. Well, then count me out. Why? Because I'm not going to open it. I didn't say you, I said me. Well, I don't want to be around when you open it. How come? Because. Oh, come on, Travis, you ain't no fun. I'm going to wait until the end of the day, just like you. Hey, Gates. Hey, Gates. Lisa, you working on your scene? Mm-hmm. Working on it. Sure you are. I wonder what's in that box. Better yet, I wonder who put it there. Oh, not this again. Bet it was Gates. He's a really good actor, and this has his name written all over it. You know what? You're right. It's Gates. Now, we gotta work on these scenes. We have to have them done by the end of the day. Right. Or it could have been Travis. Why Travis? Because Travis knew we'd probably be thinking it was Gates, so it could be Travis. Lisa. Well, who do you think put it there? I think you did. Me? Really, Kelly? Who do you think? I don't know. Probably Gates. I knew it. It's got to be Gates. OK, so it's solved. It's Gates. Now, can we please work on the scenes? Absolutely. Not another word about it. Thank you. It could have been Chad. Hey, Gates. Ready to rehearse. Yeah, me too. I've changed a couple of lines, though, so here is that page. Okay, I will swap that out. Okay, you ready to give it a shot? Well, I'm ready to give it a read-through. To be honest, I haven't had a chance to learn all the lines yet. Well, I've got news for you. Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I, I thought you expected me to have all the lines memorized, Mon. <laughs> <laughs> for rehearsal today, no. For the show Friday, yes. <laughs> OK. Well, I'm ready to start when you are. Me too. Start any time. Take me to Times Square, buddy. Then when we get there, I'll tell you where to drop me off. A sure thing, Mon. So, how are you doing today? Doing great. I'm getting married in a couple of days, and I'm pretty excited. Well, congratulations, Mon. Thank you. Have you ever been married before? Nope. This is the first time, and I plan to make it the only time. That's good to hear. Does your wife-to-be feel the same way? Absolutely. She thinks I'm the greatest guy in the world. Well, that's really nice to hear, Mon. Yeah, it makes you feel good. Of course, I'm not actually the greatest guy in the world, but she thinks I am. It's kind of nice that somebody thinks that way about you. I've always felt that the husband and wife should think that way about each other. Yeah, I hear you. And I feel that way about her, so I really think our marriage is going to work and be a good one. I pray the Lord blesses your mind. Thank you. Hey, buddy, can you keep a secret? Sure thing, man. I got her this really special gift for our wedding. What did you get her? Well, she loves art. It's her passion. And there's this particular painting at an art exhibit, which is where you're taking me. Anyway, I'm going there now to make the final payment, and then they're going to deliver it tomorrow. I'm happy for her then. It's always nice to give someone a gift that makes them happy. Yeah. You know, the Lord gave us a gift once to make us happy. Yeah? Yes. When he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to earth as a baby. That was God's greatest gift to the world. Hey, and speaking of gifts, I sure love getting them at Christmas time. I think everybody does. But I hope that you and your wife make sure that you have the gift that God gave us. That doesn't work for me, Chad. I gotta rework this. You know, I, I thought I had it with those lines that I rewrote, but it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, it seems a little forced. I'll tell you what, let me work on this for a minute.
Hey, Gates, speaking of gifts, what did you put in that box? Nothing. So it was you. Well, you just said you put nothing in the box. That's right. And you know why? Why? I didn't put the box over there. Come on, Gates. We all know it was you. You're good at this kind of stuff. In fact, if I was to take a poll right now amongst everybody in the building, I'd bet that you get the unanimous vote. Well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Chad, but this was not a Gates idea, scheme, story, joke, or whatever else you guys think I'd do. <laughs> Although, that's not to say it wasn't the former waiter of the Fifth Avenue Cafe. Hey, now wait a minute. That is not my box, and I did not put it there. And Travis didn't put it there. Hmm. Which leaves Rudy or the ladies. I bet it was Rudy. It was probably Rudy. I'm with you. It was Rudy. He was the first one here this morning, so he had the best chance of putting it there without being seen. But why? If Rudy put the box over there on the table, then why does he say he didn't? Hey, Joanna. Yeah, uh, have my lights come in yet? Not yet. Have you seen a driver today? That's so odd. Well, can you do me a favor? If you look online, can you just see if they've posted any delays or any other information and just get back to me? Thanks. Okay, bye. Okay, Travis, come on. Where are we going? It's quitting time. I want to see what's in the box. Is it five already? Well, it's close enough. It's 10 minutes till. Let's go. Okay, everybody. Let's open the box. No, but Gates, it's not five o'clock yet. Well, it's close enough. Who wants to do the honors? But Gates, we do not know whose box this is. Lisa, look. We said that we would let the box sit here all day, and if no one claimed it, which no one has, that we would open the box when it was time for us to go. Well, guess what? I've got news for you. It is now five o'clock, well, almost five o'clock, and we are about to go. But before we do, I want to know what's inside the box. Maybe it's from Gates, since he's so eager to open it up. Well, Travis, I told you I did not put that box there. Although, that's not to say that one of you didn't. <sighs> not this again. Okay, Gates, open the box. How come Gates gets to open the box? I want to do it. All right, Travis, you open the box. Well, wait just another minute. I think maybe I want to open it. Okay, Chad, you open the box. Why don't we draw straws? Draw straws? Lisa, do you have any straws? No. Well, we can't draw straws. Okay, look, I'm just going to ask an honest question and expect an honest answer. Who put the box there? Oh, come on, it didn't just appear out of thin air. Somebody had to put it there. Not I. Nor did I. I didn't. Me either. Or me. Well, I didn't put it there. Who did? I know. Mr. Wheeler. Mr. Wheeler. Mr. Wheeler. Glad you're all still here. How's it going? Fine, sir. I guess you're wondering how that box got here. <laughs> yes, we are. We've been wondering all day. Well, I can tell you how it got here. You can? Oh, yeah. Over millions of years, molecules from that side of the theater and that side of the theater came together and poof, formed that box. Mr. Willow, are you feeling okay? Feeling fine. Good. We're glad to hear that. What, you don't buy that explanation? <laughs> no offense, Mr. Wheeler, but no. Okay. How about this one? That box has been here the whole time. You just haven't seen it until today. Uh, Mr. Wheeler, that explanation doesn't quite settle the issue either. I see. Not good enough for you, huh, Lisa? No, sir. Okay, I have one more explanation. How about this one? Somebody put it there. Well, Mr. Wheeler, that's the one thing that we've actually been able to figure out by ourselves. The only problem is nobody's willing to admit that they put it there. 
Well, that's because none of you did. I did. You did? Yeah, I put it there last night after you all left. So Mr. Wheeler's the guilty party. Not that you're guilty, sir. <laughs> I understand. Well, Mr. Wheeler, can you, uh, you mind explaining to us what, what this is all about? Well, it's an idea I had for a show. An idea for the show? Yeah, you know, I've been reading a lot lately in the headlines how the world is trying so very hard to prove that we got here by evolution. Well, now that's nothing new. Satan has been putting forth that lie for years. But lately, there's been a concentrated effort to get people to really believe that we evolved. Well, I thought we could do a show on that topic sometime. Sounds good to me. So how does the box come into play with evolution? At least I think I know. You see, the box represents the world. And how did our world get here? Did it just evolve, or was it created? See, if a person believes that that box came into being by molecules coming together over millions upon millions of years, or that the box was always here and we just saw it now, then that person has got more faith than one can imagine. But if a person believes that God created the world and he put it here, then you're on the right track. Well said, Gates. But I'm not talking about just any God. I'm talking about the one and only God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's interesting that you put it that way, Mr. Willow. That's very important. Why is that important, Gates? Well, because there are a lot of religions that believe in God, but they don't believe the Lord Jesus Christ as the only way to heaven, or that he's the Son of God. That's right. The Bible is very clear in the New Testament to describe God as the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it does. And that's a very important point. So the first part of my idea is to establish that God created the world. But just like it says in the Bible, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, the second part of my idea, who wants to open that box? <laughs> well, since Miss Andrews is the first one that found the box this morning, I think she should do the honors. We all agree? Well, actually, Rudy was the one that saw it first this morning. Uh, Lisa, you can do the honors. <laughs> Okay. I'll open it. Uh, but I don't have anything to open it with. Voila. Thank you, Gates. This is exciting. <laughs> The pictures of us. Each one of us. And Joanna, too. Mr. Wheeler, why are these pictures in here? I just wanted you to know that God, who created this world, also created you. And he knows everything about you. He knows who you are, he knows what you look like, your dreams, your desires. He knows every little detail about you. So don't ever let the media or circumstances or any situation or anyone make you think otherwise. God is the God of love, just like it says in the Bible. Thanks, Mr. Wheeler. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I have a question for you guys now. I just saw a box in the green room. I was wondering how that got there. What box? Hey, these are my lights. How'd they get in there? No, yeah, it's really pretty simple, Rudy. Over millions of years, molecules from this side of the green room and that side of the green... I met the driver coming in. He said he was running late and wanted me to give it to you. <laughs>